What is going on everybody? It is Master Rob here. Welcome back to our beautiful world here in Minecraft showing our Clash Village. We are actually nearly done on this Clash Village as what is happening down there? An iron golem is literally killing himself and he's dead. Okay, that was kind of weird. So let's fly up while we look at the sky and look at our village from above. It is looking pretty damn amazing. I've got quite a lot done. Uh, and we don't actually have that much stuff left, which is really exciting, which means we're coming nearly to an end of this base build series here on Minecraft. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and if you guys want me to continue doing some kind of Minecraft Clash of Clans series, hit me down in the comment section below, and I'll definitely look into it. So, anyway, enough of looking at the Barbarian uh, in a little weird view. Let's jump down and see what we need to build in today's episode. So, as you can see, if I turn around like this... Uh, this is where you can see the base from in the Clash of Clans view, and we've got loads of it done. Uh, I went around and I did all of the uh, elixir pumps, all of the gold mines have been done, all of the giant bombs have been placed all around as well, uh, along with that dark elixir drill and that elixir storage, and I was just doing this when I started the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to time set zero, so it goes back to uh, the start and we don't go all dark during our game. So let's finish off this. Uh, which is our army camp. Now, the army camps are all obsidian, uh, and they look pretty awesome, actually. I really like the look of the army camps. Um, I did throw a lot of wood in the last one, but I don't really need it because, obviously, the lava, when I throw the lava in, just kind of burns the wood up. So it was kind of a waste, uh, but it's, I mean, it's not a problem. It's not like I'm actually burning wood in real life, and the trees are dying because of what Master of is doing here on Minecraft. Let's throw in uh, some lava. Can we make it any higher? I think that's actually the same as the other one. No, the other one's higher up. Oh, maybe that's uh, what kind of... Uh, I was going to put wool in. Probably wool doesn't work. Maybe if I put a block of obsidian in there, uh, would that work? If I put that in there and then I put that on top of it, there we go. Now we've got like a little, a little fountain effect, which looks pretty nice. And that is that army camp complete. So we've now got uh, those two army camps completed. I only need to do two more in both of the corners over there and over there. But... In today's episode, what we are going to be doing as well is the Dark Barracks, which is going to be quite exciting. Um, to be honest, I've got all the stuff here. Oh, hello, cow. We've got a cow in our minecart going golden, going gold hunting. Bro, what are you doing in here? This is not made for cows. Get hit by a lava bucket. Is he actually on that? Why are you on? Get out of there. That is not your place to play. All right, we're just going to leave him in there. That's fine. He could be looking for a ride down into the gold mine. So let's start building this up. Uh, this is actually going to be a really cool one to look at because we've actually got two different levels of dark barracks. Uh, the higher one here being on the left. And this one over here is actually looks very red at the bottom. So I'm going to do a, uh, a base of it, which is all made out of lovely redstone because it looks... Oh, it looks kind of like lava, but it's not lava because it doesn't move. So it kind of looks like redstone. And then it has a center which looks very much like some black wool or obsidian. Maybe I could use obsidian for this one and then kind of black. No, this one looks like black wool. And then the other one looks like gray wool. So I've got a gray wool as well that I can use. So let's get that nice and high. Uh, we need four prongs for that. Boom, there we go. Uh, and then we're going to, you can see in the middle, it kind of looks all stony inside. So I'm going to do a, a just general general floor. Sorry, not stony. Uh, it looks all like wood. So I'm going to put some wood slabs down uh, on the inside. Maybe I'll put that there, that there. And it actually looks kind of like they come on the outside like that. That's pretty much what they look like with the uh, with that on the wood on the outside. And then we've got, I think actually all around it's this kind of dark gray. So let's bring this dark gray, uh, sorry, black even up. And then we've got kind of a red top, but it's not red like the block of redstone. It's like a red wool or maybe even a red stained clay actually will do this one. So let's bring the red stained clay out with us. And let's put a roof of red stained clay and see what that looks like. Oh, it looks gorgeous. It looks absolutely stunning. Oh my God, there we go. And that is, oh, hold on, let's get that out. Uh, I think inside there, because of the dark barracks, if we put a torch in, that could look quite cool at night because it would kind of glow from the inside. Uh, and that's kind of what it looks like. This base looks a little bit strange, so we almost need some kind of uh, stair to sort that out. Maybe there's not a nether uh, stair, is there? There is. All right, this could look quite cool. Let's try the nether on it uh, instead of the obsidian. Oh, wait, what? Oh, damn it. Stair, nether stair instead of obsidian. 
Let's see what that looks like if I put the nether stairs around the outside. That kind of looks quite cool. Uh, it doesn't really go with the whole color scheme, though, to be honest. But I don't think we need anything. Uh, we're just going to have to put it like that. We haven't got any just black stairs, have we? We've got darker stairs. Uh, but no, we're going to have to leave it like that. So that is the dark barracks. Uh, and on the top, it has some kind of swords and stuff. So I can put the slabs down to do these swords. Kind of like we did on uh, on the other base. Uh, sorry, on the builder's hut over there. No, we're doing slabs. I need to do plates, pressure plates. Maybe, oh, pressure plates would probably look better for the base bit as well. So let's do that. Um, instead of it being so thick, we can make this all quite thin. And that might look, that might look actually a little bit better. That looks quite cool. Uh, and then the roof as well is going to be thinner. Otherwise, it looks really, really thick and kind of weird. Actually, I don't know. Actually, I quite like the um, I quite like the the slabs on the bottom bit and oh slabs, uh, the slab on the bottom bit and then the pressure plate on the top bit. That's what we're gonna go for. I think that probably looks that probably looks the coolest. Uh, we could follow this all the way around, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and that is kind of what that looks like, kind of, because it's not exactly, but it's quite hard to do the dark barracks. Uh, and then the next one is completely friggin' different. This one is like completely, completely different. Uh, and it has a kind of gray, kind of gray wool, I guess you could use. Uh, but it's more like stone, really. So we need some just normal stone uh, instead of the redstone. And then we're kind of using, we've got a light gray wool uh, that we can use. So let's use the stone as the base. Oh. So it's kind of a stone base all the way around. Instead of the uh, the red, which comes with, I guess because of the Lava Hound, uh, the high level base has that kind of red look. The high level barracks even has that red look, which looks pretty cool. Um, I actually only just thought of that. That is probably exactly why it looks like that, because of the Lava Hound. So that's cool. Uh, let's build this up to, by two, by two, and then we just kind of follow the same uh, color scheme actually all the way around. So this is just going to be like that. These are the smallest and tightest dark barracks um, I have ever seen. Not like I've seen many dark barracks, but hey-ho. All right, and now we need to build the roof, which is going to be stained clay again. So it's got the same kind of red roof. It's actually got the same stuff on the top as well. So we can just um, we can just copy what we did on the last one to get kind of the uh, kind of the axe effect. And then we need to put the oak slabs again down here, and we need a little torch in the center. We're gonna do a redstone center because. Uh, the redstone kind of glows a little bit nicer. Uh, and that is pretty much that, actually, for the dark barracks. They don't look that amazing. They're kind of bland. I don't really know what else to put on them. It's really hard to uh, to really put other stuff on it. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's anything that kind of fits the bill and that will look quite cool. But I definitely can't see much. Maybe we could just put some buttons around it. Um, and buttons will look quite cool. Actually, oh, it does have stuff on the side. So maybe a little lever on the side if I can, or a lever, whatever you want to call it. Looks quite cool. Yeah, if we put that there, and then we just kind of put some buttons around it. It just kind of spices up the side rather than keeping it um, kind of boring and just nothing on there. So it has a little lever, which kind of looks like it does on the, on the thing itself. I don't know if that's going to do anything. No, it doesn't. Maybe it turns on and off the redstone on the inside. Nope. Redstone lamp does not turn off and on. And that is going to be the dark barracks completed. So they're looking quite cool. We only have two dark barracks and they're the both different levels. Actually, I've only just noticed that this whole bottom sector of the base is now complete. Oh my god, that is really annoying me. No, let's destroy that hole. Boom, there we go. So this is all complete. Uh, it's all complete going up here as well. We are missing a laboratory, which we'll probably do in the next episode, which will go here. That's a pretty big one to do. Uh, we've then got another army camp that can fit in here, and we could actually do that right here, right now, along with a, uh, a air bomb, one of the black air bombs, which look like that. So I kind of need to copy exactly what I've got here for that. Uh, I completely missed that bomb, so let's let's do that while we're here. We need some wood. Dun dun dun. We need some. We've got the black, which is good. We need a uh, we need a fence as well. Uh, and I think that's actually it. Yeah, that, that, and we've got the buttons. So let's go and build that, which sits right here. It literally does. It takes up uh, this square here. Is that right? Does it take up this square here? I think it does, yeah. Yeah, it does. So we need to build it like so. Uh, one, I think I did them four up. Two, three, four, because now they're kind of higher up. 
Oh, no, maybe I did it. I actually think I did it one more up, didn't I? That looks one more up to me. Let's go find one. Um, how high are you, bombs? One, two, three, four. Oh, no, you are four. Oh, and then the black kind of sits on top. Right, that makes sense. So it is four up, and then the black ones sit on top. So let's bring these out like that. And then the black sits. Oh, if I can get it on top, that is. There we go. There, there, there. And then we've got the buttons to symbolize the skulls, which look like that. And that is absolutely awesome. Uh, we've then got the Buddha's Hut complete, the gold mines complete, the barracks is complete, the bomb, the giant bomb, all looking really good. And we literally have here to put the one army camp down. And then this is going to be this whole half and a little bit of the base complete, which is really, really exciting. And then we've only got a little bit actually to do on the other side as well. I'm just going to zoom out of my photo that I have here of my base next to me and see what we're missing. We're missing the spell factory. So maybe we'll do the uh, barracks and the spell factory in the next episode. And then I feel we could actually be done here, guys on our Clash of Clans village, which is going to be really exciting. So, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the series. If you do, please do smash the like button down below. Let's see if we can get this up to like 1,000. Uh, 2,000 likes actually would be insane. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.